Okay, this is an experimental vlog today. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see me in this or be able to hear me in the traffic, but we're gonna give it a try. Uh, yeah, this is uh, hazy because of Diwali. Welcome to Diwali where the patakers patak. Firecrackers crack. It's post Diwali, so it's just like a haze of uh, smoke. So, uh, Devil Osojano. That's how Amitabh Bachchan, one of India's biggest stars, greets his audience at the beginning of the Indian version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Kon Vanega Prorpati. And it means roughly the same thing as Lords and Ladies, I think. So it's kind of like goddesses and gentlemen. So it's kind of a cool way of saying greetings. Uh, oh, I got corrected this week because in my last video I said the word Avatar referring to James Cameron's <clears throat> atrocious film. Sorry if you like that movie. Someone corrected me, rightfully so, and said it's not Avatar as we Americans say it. It's Avatar or Avatar. Avatar? Avatar. Avatar. Uh, but my response to that is, well, Cameron mispronounced it in the film because it's actually named after, like, the name of the computer program. So since the product line is mispronounced, you kind of have to mispronounce it. It's kind of like in India, there is a Coke alternative called Thumbs Up, but you don't pronounce it Thumbs Up because it's not spelled Thumbs Up. It's spelled Tums Up, and you say Thumbs Up. You don't say Thumbs Up. So that's what my response to that would be. You're correct, though. I need to work on my pronunciation of of tar, of tar. It's really hard to change, like when you said something a certain way your whole life. Another one that we mispronounce super loud. Another one we mispronounce is uh, Himalaya. We say Himalaya. That's not how you say it. It's Himalaya or something like that. The Brits say it closer than we do. Uh, YouTube channel for the week, Budget Bug Out. A friend of mine uh, used to live in Panama. Friend of mine who used to live in Panama City does a show about like survival kits and gear and keeping stuff for preparedness and things and stuff. I, I don't know a lot about it, but yeah, he, he knows. So check him out. I'm at 2:45. Man, I'm out of time. A lot of stuff today. Uh, in extreme sports news, Carlos Berlay is the man. He supposedly caught a 100-foot wave off the coast of Portugal, breaking Garrett McNamara's record after saving a girl's life who was about to drown in the surf. How's that for awesome? I'm going to have to pause. It's too loud. So check that video out. Incredibly huge wave. And it's even hard to just give get a size, you know, how big he is compared to the wave or whatever. Uh, but this is my favorite video of the week, Extreme Wall Riders of Allahabad. These guys take motorcycles and cars up this cylindrical, like, coliseum looking thing and they ride them around in circles. This was actually a music video that uh, was c commissioned to Vice News and they went down in Allahabad, which is like east of here. It's, it, the song fits this so well. This was actually the people who wrote the song, the musicians, commissioned them to make this music video. It's just so cool. It's like a music video that doubles as a documentary and a personal interest news story. It's really cool. Awesome video. Can't say enough about it. Just almost fell. I don't know what I stepped in. Uh, oh yes, I've answered... Oh crap. Probably that's what it is. Uh, I've answered Rachel's question. Uh, top five classical music things that's rendering right now so if you haven't seen that uh click the link in the description it'll be there oh best halloween prank right here flight attendant in the overhead bin best halloween tweet goes to nathan fillion and finally a question from emily chrisman and i'm gonna have to answer that question when i got a brain and i'm not slipping on stuff and almost being hit by traffic so, Emily, I'll postpone that question until next week. We'll see if you can even see my face. I, I have my doubts. Anyway, till next time, Devion or Sojourno. Fuck a fuck.